So last week I visited West Tech and this year it was Anaheim. Now over the years, it used to be a really big show starting in Los Angeles at the convention center, a multi-story, multi-building show. It's moved to Long Beach two years ago and then it moved to Anaheim, which is a little closer to us. But one of the big things that stood out is automation. Now automation is here to stay. If you run a three axis CNC mill or lathe, that's a form of automation. It's just a robotic automation where it's interacting with the part, both inside and out of the machine. That's what the type of automation is that I'm referring to. So uh, from saw to PO is really the automation I'd like to see. Another thing that kind of jumped out was the, the ancillary process equipment, uh, chip brick cutters, uh, system maintenance, machine monitoring, uh, even things like how to process your um, maybe third party or welding type of fixtures, uh, bringing that, them back in, just kind of like a holistic approach to getting parts through. Now it makes sense as just as a work holding vendor, um, work holding producer, I just see that so much work is coming back to the United States and it seems like simple uh, stuff that's normally meant for overseas or is ideal for overseas, like high volume, low value. Uh, we're starting to see that come back to the United States. And the only way that that can be competitive is through automation, better products, better processes. A uh, quick shout out to our pallet systems. Pallet systems are a great way to put lots of small parts on a pallet that's easily swapped with the slow part of loading and unloading the individual parts outside of the machine, not while the spindle is not turning.